Have you ever noticed how some guys can pick up women very easily, whereas other guys can't even get past 30 seconds to a minute of conversation with women? Some guys find it very easy to get laid and get a girlfriend, and when they start talking to a woman, sparks begin to fly immediately. Whereas other guys try to talk to women, and they're trying to show the woman that they're a good guy, and they've got good intentions, and they're just trying to have a friendly chat with her, but she's just not interested. She's not feeling the spark. The thing is, picking up women is actually a very easy thing to do. However, when a guy makes some or all of the following mistakes while talking to a woman, she'll often reject him. Number one of the five pickup mistakes that lead to rejection, trying to win her over with traits that don't make her feel sexually attracted and turned on. This is one of the most common reasons why guys get rejected by women. A guy will start talking to a woman and he'll try to win her over by being really nice, friendly, polite. He'll ask her questions like, hey, so what do you do for a living? Oh, where are you from? How old are you? Where did you get that dress? And he'll ask her all these sorts of questions because he's trying to show her that he's a good guy and he's got good intentions. He just wants to get to know her and see where things go. Yet the problem with that approach is that it doesn't make the woman feel sexually attracted. You see, for us men, we can instantly feel sexually attracted to a woman simply based on her appearance. A guy can be at a bar or at an event, a party, or even out in a public place. And he can look around and see women and say, yep, I'd bang that, I'd tap that, no, Yes, no, yes. Most guys can look at a woman and pretty much instantly decide yes or no, whether they'd be interested in having sex with her or not. However, for women, it does work differently. If it didn't work differently, guys wouldn't have to worry about trying to learn how to attract women. It would be very simple. You walk up to a woman, she feels attracted to you physically, just like you feel attracted to her physically, and it's all on. Yet, that's not the way that women work. It's true that women can feel attracted, to a man's physical appearance, and refer to him as being handsome or sexy. However, the majority of women don't make their final decision on whether they want to have sex with a guy simply based on his appearance. Some women do place a lot of importance on a man's looks, but the majority of women in this world place more importance on who he is as a guy. When she's interacting with him, is he confident or nervous? Is he able to get along with her and others, or is he a bit socially awkward? Is he a masculine guy in the way that he talks and thinks and behaves? Or is he a bit neutral? Or worse, is he a bit feminine? Does she feel like he's an emotionally strong guy that she could feel safe with in this world? Or does she feel like she'd probably need to protect and take care of him? Even though most women won't necessarily think about those things consciously, her instincts of attraction are based on the analysis of that while she's interacting with the guy. The way that he's talking and the way that he's behaving is either going to trigger feelings of sexual attraction inside of her, or it's not. When it comes to pickup, the majority of guys try to win women over with traits that don't even make women feel sexually attracted and turned on. You see, women do appreciate it if a guy is a nice guy and he's got good intentions and he's academically intelligent, he's got a good job, great. That's all great stuff. But the thing is, it doesn't matter to a woman unless she feels sexually attracted to the guy. For women, making men feel attracted is as easy as looking good. And for men, making women feel attracted is as easy as displaying attractive personality traits during an interaction. For example, some of the personality traits that women find sexually attractive in a man are confidence, masculinity, charisma, charm, humor, unpredictability, and social intelligence. Yet, what most guys do when they meet a woman and they're trying to pick her up is display traits like kindness, politeness, niceness, and academic intelligence. You know, a guy wants to show her that he's a good guy, he's trustworthy, he's reliable. You know, you can count on me. I'm a good guy, I've got good intentions. I don't just want to have sex with you, I want to be your boyfriend. I'll take care of you, I'll treat you nicely. Right? He's trying to win her over with traits that don't even make a woman feel sexually attracted and turned on. The thing is, women do appreciate those other nice traits after they feel attracted to a guy. If you want pickup to be very easy for you, you've got to start out by making women feel sexually attracted to you. Number two, concentrating too much on her reactions rather than on what he needs to do. Another common pickup mistake that guys make which leads to rejection is where the guy concentrates too much on what the woman is saying and doing and how she's reacting. All right, so he'll be talking to a woman and she might make a bit of a, a face where she's like, or she might not contribute much to the conversation or she might play hard to get. 
And the guy is focusing on that and thinking about it too much. He's thinking, you know, why does she do that? Why does she say that? Why has her body language changed all of a sudden? Am I losing her? Have I stuffed this up? Look how she's turning away from me now. Oh, she's drinking her drink. What does that mean? And he's thinking way too much about what the woman is doing. Yet what he needs to do to be successful is focus on what he needs to do. And what does he need to do? He needs to actively make her feel sexually attracted to him. Unless a guy is doing that during a pickup, most of the women that he tries to pick up aren't going to be interested. And if he tries to make a move, most of the women that he tries to make a move on are going to reject him. What guys need to understand is that it's very easy for us to feel attracted to women. Right? I call it insta-attraction. You can just see a woman and say yes or no whether you'd bang her, whether you'd have sex with her. Right? But it's not the same for women. It's true that some women can look at a guy and say, yes, I want to have sex with him. He's sexy. He's handsome. However, the majority of women need to interact with you and see if there's a spark there. And the best thing of all for us guys is that we can create the spark. We actually have it a lot easier than women because we don't have to focus so much on how we look. We can walk over and talk to a woman and make her feel attracted and turn on during the interaction. This is why you'll see guys who you might think are average or below average looking with a beautiful woman. You might wonder how these other guys are able to get a girlfriend when you're not. You might look at a guy walking along with his girlfriend and think, what's she doing with him? You might go to a party and see a guy with a hot girl and think, what is she doing with him? Why can't I get a girl like that? You might see another guy with a funny looking nose with a hot girlfriend and think, why isn't she turned off by his nose? How did he get her? I think I'm better looking than him. What's going on here? What's going on is the fact that guys can make women feel sexually attracted to them while they interact with them. Guys can actively create a spark with a woman, and the woman will then start to look at the guy's physical appearance in a more positive light. She might not like how he looks initially, but once she starts interacting with him and feeling a spark for him, she might think, oh, I like the fact that he's bald. He's kind of cute like that. But look at his belly. I want to rub it. Oh, look at his hairy chest. I want to run my fingers through it. Oh, this guy doesn't work out. It doesn't seem like he has big muscles, but I'm attracted to him. I'm turned on. I want this guy. That's how a woman's attraction works, and it's the reason why so many guys all over the world are confused when they see a guy walking along the street or at a party or at a bar, and he is not as good looking as the woman. Right? He doesn't seem like he deserves her. But what's going on is that that guy created a spark with her, and he was able to pick her up. Mistake number three, making her feel like she's too good for him. The thing is, a woman may actually have fairly low standards and be willing to hook up with most type of guys, but if a guy walks up to her and starts talking to her and makes her feel like she's way more valuable than him, she will often get the feeling that she might be trading down if she hooked up with him. It might feel like an unfair value exchange to her where she is bringing more attractive value to the table than he is. That's a problem that a lot of guys create for themselves when they're trying to pick up women. A guy will walk up to a woman and give her the impression that he would be lucky to get a chance with her. It'll come through in his body language and how he's talking and responding to her. She'll be able to pick up the fact that he doesn't feel like he's good enough for her. And as a result, she'll start to question whether or not he is good enough for her. Number four, showing romantic interest before making her feel sexually attracted and turned on. A classic pickup mistake that leads to rejection is where a guy gets overwhelmed by his feelings of attraction for a woman while he's talking to her. A guy will start talking to a woman and be feeling a lot of attraction for her appearance and if she's being friendly to him, he'll start to feel like he's got a chance with her and she might be the one and she might be his new girlfriend and they're going to fall in love, they're going to have sex, etc. However, she's only being friendly with him and he's feeling attracted to her. Right? So she's not feeling sexually attracted to him and he's simply being friendly. Then he starts asking her questions like, so do you have a boyfriend? Uh, can I take you out sometime? Are you seeing anyone at the moment? Can I get your phone number? The thing is, that guy and that woman might have been an ideal couple. They may have been a great match. And if he approached it properly, they may have kissed, had sex, started a relationship, and eventually even gotten married and stayed together for life. Yet the problem is that he's attracted to her and she's not attracted to him. Right? He's not doing anything to actively make her feel sexually attracted and turned on. If a guy is just a normal, everyday guy, then he needs to actively make women feel sexually attracted to him during an interaction. A guy who is a celebrity or is very rich and powerful in society, or he's a male model or a sports star or whatever, those sort of guys don't really need to do a lot to make women feel initially attracted to them because there's already something attractive about the guy. 
However, the majority of guys in this world just need to understand and accept that to get laid and get a girlfriend very easily, they need to actively make a woman feel sexually attracted and turned on during an interaction. They can't expect a woman to be excited about wanting to get to know them and have sex with them and get into a relationship with them simply based on being friendly towards her and getting along in a nice and polite way. So the mistake that a lot of guys make is they get overwhelmed by their feelings of attraction for a woman and if she's being nice and friendly towards them, the guy then thinks, okay, this girl is for me, there's something between us, I'm feeling it, she's being nice to me, I've got to try to close the deal here. And then he asks her, you know, do you have a boyfriend, can I take you out, what's your number? And she's thinking, whoa, you've jumped the gun there. You know, like, I don't even feel anything for you yet. You know, and she doesn't explain what's going on, she just says, no, 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 I've already got a boyfriend, or no, no, sorry, I'm not interested, or no, no, I don't, I don't give out my phone number at bars, things like that. And the final mistake is not being prepared. The majority of guys who want to get laid and get a girlfriend make this classic mistake when trying to pick up women. A guy will have nothing to talk about beyond asking her name, occupation and age. He will have no idea how to make her feel sexually attracted and turned on. He will have no idea how to pass her confidence tests, so she will then drop her guard and show him the friendly, easy-going side of herself that she doesn't show to other guys. The thing is, pickup is very easy if you know what you're doing. However, when a guy makes classic pickup mistakes, it doesn't matter that he's a good guy, or that he has a good job, or that he's dressed well. Women are still going to reject him. The reason why is that the way that women feel attracted to men and the way that men feel attracted to women is different. A man can instantly decide, yes, I want to have sex with her, no, I don't want to have sex with her. And if a man starts talking to a woman that he wants to have sex with, he finds her attractive, he doesn't care what she does for a living. He doesn't care what brand of shoes she's wearing or what dress she's got on, whatever. He wants to have sex with her. But it doesn't work that way with women. Women want to be able to interact with you and feel sexually attracted and turned on while they talk to you. They want to be able to experience who you are and feel sexually attracted and turned on by that. So if you don't want to get rejected anymore when you pick up women and you want to experience easy success from now on, I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the brand new audiobook version, The Flow on Audio. You'll learn exactly what to say and do to effortlessly go from one step to the next with a woman. You'll know what to say to start a conversation, how to get her attracted immediately, how to keep the conversation going and keep it interesting, how to connect with her in an attractive way, how to get her to touch you and hug you, how to kiss her, how to get her to go home and have sex with you, or if you want to have sex on the first date, how to get her to go on a first date with you and have sex with you on the first date. The way that the flow works is that everything just flows from one step to the next. The flow is the easiest way to get laid or get a girlfriend. And if you're struggling to get laid or get a girlfriend and you've been getting rejected when you've been trying to pick up women, I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or you listen to The Flow on Audio.